TV5 stands for you. Our Carolina Cruz went back out to the Oakenfield House Vaccine Clinic to see if the county indeed followed through. Carolina, how did the experience for patients differ today compared to yesterday? Well, Carolyn, there was no waiting, no long lines, and no having to stand in those freezing temperatures. We know that county leaders, they apologized yesterday, but today they kept their word to not let it happen again. It's just a long walk. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part. So we were able to get everybody inside, but now unfortunately there's a little bit more walking inside. With 20 additional volunteers on hand for a total of 60. So thank you to the people that were helping. Vaccination efforts moved faster than the patients today. Today was just uneventful and perfect. Precisely what the Johnson County Department of Health and Environment was going for. Absolutely happy that the problem that we're dealing with is not uh, trying to convince people to take the vaccine. Have a good day, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. See ya. Johnson County began vaccinating people in phase two, starting with those 80 and up this week. More than 7,000 appointments for the week are already filled. Yesterday, some people showed up much earlier than their appointment. Others came without one. It resulted in a long line that wound around the parking lot. Inside, of course, it's nice and warm, but out here, it's cold. To prevent from having people wait in freezing temperatures again, the county brought in two heated buses for overflow. Shuttles were used to pick up and drop off patients who parked far from the entrance. I was a little bit nervous because I don't stand very well. Yeah. And I was a little bit nervous about getting the vaccine, but getting the vaccine is so much better than getting the virus. Dr. Sammy Ariola is already looking ahead to three to four weeks from now. We've got to start ramping up. Uh, giving second doses. Well, thank you. All right, there you go. We'll see you back in 21 days. And once vaccinated, staff gives patients a card, and on that card, it lets them know when they are due for their next vaccine. It'll be either three to four weeks, depending on if they got the Pfizer or the Moderna shot. But the county is emphasizing that people need to make sure they schedule that second shot because they will not be doing that automatically. Reporting in Shawnee, I'm Carolina Cruz, KCTV 5 News. Yeah.